You're thinking about moving to Bend, Oregon from Boise, Idaho, and you want to know what the cost of living comparison is between the two cities? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be covering in today's video. So if this video sounds like it's for you, stick around because we're going to be getting after that comparison right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad, the cost of living, in Bend, Oregon, then subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell below so you can be the first to know about the current market in Bend, Oregon. My name's Ryan and I've lived in Bend for over 30 years. My business partner, Zach and I, we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking for help on making their smooth move to Bend or anywhere else in Central Oregon. And we absolutely love what we do. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or even set up a Zoom meeting. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to Bend or anywhere else here in sunny Central Oregon. So like we talked about in the intro, today's gonna be a cost of living comparison between Boise, Idaho and Bend, Oregon. Now, the two towns are relatively similar in terms of size. Bend, of course, is smaller than Boise. Boise is the biggest city in Idaho. It's the capital of the city, of the state. Uh, there's about 300,000 people in the Boise Metroplex, and we have roughly 200 or a little over 200,000 in our metropolitan area here if we use Deschutes County as the means for that metropolitan area. So what we want to do is give you an idea. It's the biggest city, Boise, to the east of Bend. In fact, Bend basically is where Oregon stops in terms of population as we go from the coast, the Pacific Ocean, to the, uh, to the east. So the majority of our population is residing in the Willamette Valley. That's where Portland, that's where Salem, that's where Corvallis, that's where Eugene is. All those cities that comprises roughly 60 to 75% of our state's population. If we go over the mountains um, to the east, that's where Bend is at the foothills of the east side of those Cascade Mountains, that those 10,000 foot peaks where there's um, several of those that separates the west side of the state with basically central and eastern Oregon. Once we get to Bend and we start commuting to the east of Bend, there's nothing. We've got Burns two hours away. There's Vail, Oregon, which is another two hours or so away. Then we get to the border, Ontario, Oregon. After that, we're actually at the Idaho border. We're crossing in over the Snake River and on I-84 on our way over to Boise. That's basically it. So there's a ton of land. There's a ton of land mass on the east side of Oregon, uh, in the east side of Oregon, but there's really nobody that lives over there. It's just a bunch of ranchers, which is great, and it's very rural. But outside of that, if we're going on Highway 20, uh, which goes through Bend and to the east, if we're heading towards Boise, it's about a four and a half to five and a half hour drive, depending on how fast you're going. But um, yeah, Boise is the next thing on the east or to the east. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. There is some connectivity between Boise and Bend. A lot of people commute back and forth on a semi-regular basis. Got some good friends that live over in Boise. Boise State University is actually a, a school where a lot of people from Bend will end up going to after they graduate high school. So there is a connection there. Boise is growing at a very alarming clip too. It's a very popular area based off of their cost of living. It's a little bit lower, hint um than it is in bend so we're going to explore that a little bit today but there are plenty of people that live over in the idaho area that love oregon and bend that are considering moving here too so that's what we want to explore today and give you some understanding as the the relationship between boise cost of living and the bend oregon cost of living so with that being said i'm going to share our screen and we're going to jump right in and start doing a comparative analysis of boise idaho and bend oregon so what we got here is bestplaces.net. It's a great tool that I love using, especially when I have out of, out of town clients that are considering moving to the Central Oregon region from whether it's Arizona or California or Texas, even Washington state, okay? Um, the areas that I'm less familiar with, I really rely on bestplaces.net. Boise, I'm fairly familiar with, uh, but it's also fun to actually just do the, the plug and play. Boise versus Ben in this, and then um, bestplaces.net will do the rest and give us the information that we're seeking when we're trying to learn about the cost of living between one town and the next. In this case, it's Bend and Boise. So what we have here is the general consensus, the, the information here, 
uh, Ben's population, 97,000. We're a little bit over that now, probably 105 to 107,000. Whereas Boise is 230 in their Metroplex. It's a little bit um, above that, 300, 330 to maybe 400,000 people. So it's a, a, a bigger Metroplex there than than Central Oregon. And that's just great. Median, home, uh, median income is gonna be 52,471 and 49, relatively similar there. Median age, 38 to 35. Again, Boise has a large, uh, large university, Boise State University right there in the heart of the city. It's a great place. I, I love I love going to Boise. I love visiting there. Um, it's just a fun place to visit in Idaho. Um, median home price, 666000 according to bestplaces.net. That is relatively close. It's actually 680. We're going to jump into that real quick versus 478 in Boise. Okay, so significantly less of a cost of living when it comes to median home price in Idaho compared to Bend, Oregon. And why is that? Well, there's a lot of people that have commuted up from California to Bend, down from Seattle, down from Portland over the last few years. But Idaho is certainly getting a large influx of people moving in from those same areas as well. So again, the cost of living, the median home price in Idaho and Boise is significantly less compared to Bend as of this recording. Uh, so if we go into some more of the details, again, bestplaces.net, we know the drill. If you've watched some of these videos before, what we get is a baseline of 100, okay? So every category that we're going over, food, groceries, health, housing, uh, utilities, transportation, miscellaneous expenses, et cetera, okay? It's all comparative to 100 being the national average. So if it's above 100, then that cost of living in that category is gonna be more than the national average, vice versa if it's below 100. So what we're doing now is comparing Bend, Boise, and then also comparing both of them to the United States average. The overall score of cost of living between Bend and Boise, 131 versus 116, Bend, obviously, we've already kind of hinted towards the cost of living as it relates to a median home price. That's going to be the significant reason why Bend is going to be a higher rate of uh, cost of living compared to Boise. If we go down, okay, 102 with groceries versus 93, okay, so Boise is going to be uh, for food. It's going to be more affordable, cheaper, okay, healthcare costs, um, 97 versus 100. Bend is a very health conscious area. Boise can be too. I feel, I mean, every time I go there, I feel like there's plenty of people that are outside, they're running, they're doing some sort of exercise. There's people that are very health and fitness oriented. Idaho is a fantastic place to live, a very, very big outdoor mecca, mecca as well. Um, so some similarity there. Again, the elephant in the room is going to be the median home price, uh, 666 according to bestplaces.net. But the real accurate barometer here is going to be our beacon reports, our local housing data source and this actually has our most up-to-date median home price being at six hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars for the month of march of 2023 if we scale back about 12 months that'll be our peak at the top of the market seven hundred and seventy three thousand dollars was the median home price in bend something that we had never seen before obviously if you scale back and go through the last 12 to 24 months you're going to notice that there is a significant climb in terms of the average median home price on a month-to-month -month basis but since then uh, since our peak, it's been going down at a steady clip, and that's good for the, the state of the market. We need a healthier market. We need that pendulum to swing back to the middle, not just be so seller centric and then a struggle for buyers. And so there were a lot of would be buyers 12 to 18 months ago that were in the market that got um, basically fatigued and they just got tired of being in the market where they were constantly putting an offer on a new home every single time it came onto the market within a day or two, sometimes sight unseen, because the competitive level was so very incredibly high. You can see here, uh, this is a very important metric too. This is average days on market. And you can see here, uh, for a significant period of time, it was under 10, four days. Wow, just, just absurd, just not very healthy. Okay, so imagine being a buyer, you're qualified, you're in good shape, but every single time you see a home you like, it's already been accepted by somebody else who's been doing dealing with the same thing that you have. Uh, so we're, we're trending back towards a, a healthier state of the market. That's exactly what we need. You can see 51 days for February, but also it ticked down again. So I'm curious to see what we do moving into the spring and summer season. That's when the majority of activity happens. Uh, but this gives you an idea as to where we're at. If you want to compare median home price with Boise to something more similar, we're going to look at Redmond. Okay, Redmond's a great town as well. Probably a little more similar in terms of culture, vibe, politics. 
uh, Redmond versus Boise instead of Boise versus Bend. And so you can see the price point too per home, 440 and 439 in the last two months is gonna be actually much more similar to Boise as well with their median home price being sit, sitting in, sitting in at $478,000. So that gives you an idea as to where we're at in terms of the housing market. Ben is gonna be a little bit higher in terms of its median home price, Boise 478 cost of living is a little bit higher in Bend. That's uh, There's no doubt about that. If you're over in Boise and you've commuted back and forth to and from Bend and you've dealt with that long drive on a regular basis, you know already the information, but this gives you the details of the situation. Um, utility cost, Bend, 83 versus 90 in Boise. Two moderate temperate climates. Again, we've talked about this in videos before. Boise is a little bit lower of an elevation point. They're going to have more extreme summers. So I always think like if Bend has an 85 degree daytime high in July or August, it's probably 95 degrees over in Boise, a little bit warmer over there. They get less snow, less precipitation. We get more snow at the foothills of the Cascade Mountains. And so we're going to have more extreme in terms of um, snowfall. But again, the winters and the daytime highs and low fluctuation, probably similar. Uh, if it's 90 degrees and bend on a daytime high in July, could, it wouldn't be surprising if it drops all the way down to 50 degrees for the daytime low that night. So a 40 degree fluctuation, we're at higher elevations there. Um, so we get these wild fluctuations in our temperatures, which is kind of nice. Not very humid, which is great. Maybe a little more humid in Boise. Correct me if I'm wrong. Some of you guys are more familiar with the climate and culture of Boise than I am, but let me know what you think uh, in, in the comment section below. Transportation cost, Boise again, a bigger city, but it's not significantly bigger. Um, the average time, you know, it's going to be similar. If it's 100 for the for the national average, it's going to both uh, both Bend and Boise are going to be less than the national average. So commute time, you're going to save time in the car, whether you're going to and from work or doing something else. Uh, miscellaneous expenses here. We got 135 in Bend versus 95. Again, the the media, uh, the minimum wage, the average minimum wage in Bend is um, is much higher than it is in Boise. OK. And so the cost of living for miscellaneous things, like whether it's restaurants or entertainment or whatever it is, the service providers, whether they're the bartenders, the waitresses, or the people that work at other venues that provide entertainment services, they're gonna be getting paid a higher wage. Therefore, it's gonna cost more for the consumer. Um, simple economics there, but Boise, 95, less than the national average. Pretty interesting. Almost makes me wanna consider moving to Boise. I do love Boise. That's a place that my wife and I have considered um, moving to if that's something that we ever get to uh, because we do love that area over there but we're talking about Ben today Ben is an absolutely fantastic town uh, but it does have a slightly higher cost of living than Boise good to know for those that are considering moving to and from Boise Idaho over to Ben so let's do a little bit of a look at some of the houses in the Bend market as it relates to what we've been discussing today. I've already got it plugged in here. This is Zillow here. We're at, uh, we're looking for, we're looking at $500,000 up to a million dollar homes. These are regular single family homes and we're, we'll compare those to what's on the market in Boise. Then we'll wrap this video up. So this gives you an idea here. We've got half a million dollar plugged in. Remember the median home price in Bend is 685. So right now these homes are the ones that are significantly below the median home price in Bend as of this recording. And you can see what half a million dollars is going to get you right now. Three bed, two bath and homes in the 12 to 14 to 1700 square foot range oh, with the exception of a few that are below that or the exception of a few that are going to be above that uh, so that gives you a basic understanding of where homes are right now in the half a million dollar range or just up above some of them are really nice again these homes here over the last 12 to 18 months would have been probably in the 650 range to 670 range pretty wild but now they're starting to correct and come back to more healthy price points, which is where it needs to be. Absolutely. And then if we were to do the same thing, I've got it plugged in over in Boise right now, we can see what a half a million dollar home in Boise will look like as of this recording here. Half a million, 2,200 square feet. Okay, three bed, three bath. Looks like a nice home on a nice lot there. We scroll down, we're starting to see some other homes that are looking like they're in pretty good shape. 2100 square foot so the price per square foot is going to be significantly less in Boise than it is in Bend as of this recording again their their median home price is in the 400s the mid 400s mid to high 400s 
and then ours of course is in the high sixes as of this recording so that's what you're going to be able to compare and contrast so your reason for moving to bend of course is going to be um not necessarily related to the the cost of a home but you have another reason maybe you're working maybe you have a job over here maybe you want some of the outdoor amenities that um idaho doesn't necessarily have maybe you are doing it for other reasons um, I can think of a couple, but if we go to say a little bit higher of a price point, now we're looking in Boise in the mid 800s. This is probably where it gets really interesting because $800,000 in Boise will get you a significantly nicer home than $500,000 in Boise. If we scroll through some of this stuff here, you're going to see some really awesome floor plans and some, uh, some great houses that are for sale. So that will give you an idea for in the 800 price point for Idaho, let's just do the same thing for Ben real quick to give you an understanding of the differences in price points. Okay, let's do 900 actually. So this will give us a little bit more home here. Tree line plan, that's on the west side, 919,000 square uh, dollars for 1,820 square feet, five days on Zillow. Let's take a quick look. So this, this home here, new construction, stunning floor plan it's on the west side of town so this is why we're looking at homes that are just under a million bucks that are this this size uh it's because you're paying for the location but you're also playing for or you're paying for the construction and the the model itself but again primarily it's going to be the location the access to the river the access to the mountains phil's trailhead the world-renowned mountain biking circuit that's just minutes away from that particular home on the west side again you see 97703 mostly for some of these uh homes in the zip codes that's going to be on the west side that's the primary most expensive zip code in our area here it's the west side of town west of the river near the river but also where all the walkability is all the shops all the restaurants on the west side of town are fantastic it's just a quick drive up to mount bachelor all the ski parks along the way and so you're paying for the location which is simply fantastic um these homes are well crafted there's there's a few really really prominent builders in the area we've got good relationships with those builders whether it's through uh hayden homes palish homes a couple others custom home builders um we would love to show you guys floor plans models individuals of these homes when you guys make your trip to ben to take a look at a home that would be a good fit for you but again these are significantly higher than our median home price right now nine hundred thousand dollar up to a million dollar range and so what you're getting you're paying for the location Location, walkability, the livability, the culture, the vibe, all that, as well as say the floor plan that goes through um, some of these homes. So um, very interesting situation right now, but we do have a, a downtrend in terms of some of these homes. These homes here that you're looking at here were all over a million dollars if they were on the market one year ago. And so the correction is happening. It could continue. Here's another nice home. This is on the southwest part of town, has absolutely close river access to the trails. Um, and it's and it's five minutes from the old mill district. So it's very, very keenly located. Just a quick drive to just about everywhere that you would want to be. Five minutes to the old mill, another five or six minutes to the box factory. Downtown is about 10 minutes away from this home with a absolutely fantastic floor plan here. So that's what uh that's what we're looking at in terms of the price points. As of this recording, we just wanted to give you a understanding of what it's like to live in Boise versus what it's like what it like what it's like to live in Ben in terms of its livability, cost of living, etc. There are many people that do make that choice to move from Idaho to Oregon on an annual basis, and so we want to meet you guys where you're at. We want to be the resource for you as you're doing your due diligence and making all the research before you make the um, the decision to to come over. And we would love to help you find that home. So it starts with you guys. You have to reach out to us. Our contact information is in the contact or is in the, the comment section below on this video. You can call us, you can email us, you can text us, you can even set up a Zoom meeting. Zach and I would love to help you guys. And that's our goal with this channel. Be the best resource as you're doing your due diligence when it comes time to moving from wherever you are, in this case, Boise to Bend or anywhere else in Central Oregon. Again, you saw some of those homes that in the $900,000 range, you saw some in the $500,000 range. We can do the exact same search in Redmond, which is going to be just to the north, about 15 miles. You get the same Central Oregon lifestyle, but it's significantly more cost feasible, especially if you're coming from a location where you're used to uh, a smaller or 
a less of a cost of living like in Boise. So again, thank you guys for watching this video. We're so thankful that you're here supporting our channel. Please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel so you can uh, be the first to know about the next video. Um, if we don't see you guys around town, then we will plan on seeing you guys on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day.